Greetings YouTube users, this is 000XYZ and I'm doing a tour review on uh, Transformer Cybertron um, Scattershot Earth Defense Mode uh, in the Transformers Universe Repaint. As, like, if you've seen my review of Earth Defense uh, Red Alert, which I have right here, you would know that I couldn't find any of the original colored ones in store, so I got the Transformers Universe repaint of them. And, um, and frankly, much like uh, Red Alert, Scattershot looks better in the original color, because like, as you can see, uh, he's like a military butternut yellow or something. Anyways, uh, I couldn't find his cyber key, so I'm gonna use Red Alert. And and much like Red Alert, if you saw my previous uh, video, you would know that from the synopsis that he uses an Earth cyber key. So it would basically look exactly like this cyber key, except it's all transparent brown of this shade of brown. And it'll be like all brown, transparent. Anyways. On to the review. Okay, first of all, this thing can rotate 360 degrees and raise up 60 degrees. And and as you can tell, he's a missile tank truck thing. Anyways, cyber key power. By the way, for the record, for some reason my webcam, it's like inverse, so it's like... So right now, I'm raising my right hand, and it looks like I'm raising my left hand right now. So, like, j just for the record. You know, if you were confused earlier with the previous video. Anyways, we'll start with this right arm, which in the video would be his left... I mean, which in the real thing would be his... Which in this mode would be his left side. Uh, it becomes a cannon. And the other side becomes... A missile. You just pull that out, though. Yeah, so now he could rotate that. Although, kind of ridicules the fact that this is very thin. It'd be cool if you could somehow close it up again and stuff. So it looks. So you could have like a realistic bluff. Anyways, let me take that out first. And of course, he has these two things coming out for like a shovel mode. But look, I'm not gonna do that. Anyways, now onto the transformation. You flip these out. Oh, by the way, this guy also is completely uh, flip symmetrical, except unlike Red Alert, he is 100% flip symmetrical. Unless you use the cyber key, of course, as, much as you've seen just a moment ago. Now, this joint, one of these joints is a little bit loose, so I'm just going to be really careful with this. You flip this part out. Rotate it down, move it down. Oh, by the way, you have to move this part out like this much, and you do the same thing with the other side. Rotate it so now it's like that. And, ooh, now my legs look bigger. Thunder thighs, and of course, you split this open as such. Oh, by the way, in the, in the Transformers Universe repaint, this guy, for some reason, is a Decepticon. Why do they make him a Decepticon? I will never know. But the other two guys are definitely Autobots. So, at least that was kept. Now, you take this, and you open it out. And you rotate it as such. And then you just flip the hands out of the... in interior oh oh yeah and for all of you fans of certain other action shows magazine transformation sequence has been initiated yeah there's the obligatory power rangers reference deal with it now you take this and you flip it out it uses a double hinge joint so you flip that out over here there's a small peg keeping it Pivotal, so it's, and that's how you transform uh, Earth Defense Scattershot. Although since they made him a Decepticon, I I would hardly recall a defense, if you know what I mean. 
Okay, now for th for the articulation, side to side, you know, pivotal side to side, but there's no upward thing because that would just look awkward. So it's merely a lips instead of a standard pivotal joint. Of course, his arms can rotate 360 degrees in both directions. His elbows can do a 90 degree hinge joint. Yes, and also he can rot as you know part of his transformation. He can rotate his uh, arms in a good 90 degrees. Not no 180 degrees, but like I would just not rather do that. Now for the legs, this part. 360 degree rotation. This has really good rotation, but like this part makes it really hard to do so all the way. Uh, 90 degree hinge joint, 180 degree um double socket thing, you know, to imitate a ball socket joint. Wait, I wonder. Oh yeah, I totally forgot to mention this guy can also do this, you know, in my last review. Anyways, as, you know, part of the transformation, he can move his toes. We, Yay, I'm gonna, I'm practicing to do my freestyle. Flutter kick, that's what it's called, flutter kick. Anyways. Okay, now for the transformation, I mean, now for the cyber key power. As you can tell, well... Uh, from his vehicle form, both arms have that. Uh, now, just take this. That flips up, and if, and for some reason, for some reason, you can't do it with the other arm. But this arm, it slides forward. So now it's like a gun. So like it used to look like that, but now it's like. Now notice the relationship between this part and this part. Now look at its final form. Now see all this dis change in distance. And of course with the other arm. Oh, by the way, in vehicle form you can't use the, the two keys at the same. You can't have two keys in, in the place at the same time. You'd have to remove the same one key from one and then put it in place for the other one. It, it this rotates out. Here's a little thing. Yes lock on thing and you slide this out let me show it to you one more time these two missiles use a spring loaded or sp or spring shooters but I prefer not to remove them of course their arm based articulation has lowered because of the saber key power but you know give, give some take some okay this figure, I give 4.5 out of 5, because, I mean, based on articulation, design, and everything, it looks really awesome. It's really good. I'm very impressed. However, again, I, the the repaint is just terrible. The only time it's even worse is when it's on Hot Shot, and I'll show you in the, the next review. So, yeah, it's like, other than the paint job, this is... A perfectly awesome figure. A little too easy to transform compared to Red Alert, but but yeah, it's pretty badass, you know. So this so it's a 4.5 out of 5, and I'm gonna stick to it. This is 000 XYZ, and this is my review of Earth Defense uh, Scatter Shot, and uh, you know with the uh, Transformers Universe repaint, which by the way I really don't like, and. See ya.